Hello. Welcome to Undertale. I am Casino Heist, and this is what my voice sounds like. So, just a, a word about this playthrough, and well, about this game to begin with. Uh, so, this is a game where the idea is uh, that uh, you don't have to hurt anybody. You know, nobody has to get hurt. This is a JRPG, but uh, you don't have to. You don't have to go around killing people or monsters. You know, there's always other options. And I think what uh, what a lot of Let's Players are going to do with this game is try to be nice. You know, they're, they're going to try to go through the game as, you know, hurting maybe as few things as possible or sort of taking a, a middle road where they, you know, maybe only resort to actual violence when they feel like they need to. And I'm interested in providing a service here with this Let's Play channel so I am going to do something which I think might turn out to be a little difficult to find, especially in the early days of this game's release. Um, I'm going to go, like, full-on cuckoo bananas with the violence. Everyone has to die. And let's see what happens. I, I hope there won't be any emotionally harrowing consequences. All right, so Z or Enter is Confirm, X or Shift is Cancel, C is Menu, Escape to Quit, and when HP is zero, you lose. Um, yeah, that all seems reasonable. Name the fallen human. Um, this, these letters are all terrified. Just name a casino. And... Yeah, the bigger that name gets, the more certain I am that it's uh, it's correct. <clears throat> oh, we awake. We've landed on flowers, and there's a zoo. Oh, that's nice. Kind of glides you around corners like that. I have played the demo of this game, but uh, I played it like first thing when it came out, so I don't remember a whole lot about it. Howdy. I'm Flowey. Flowey the Flower. Is that how it's pronounced? Flowey? Probably Flowey. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. It's my heart. You tore my heart out. See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. And I can move it around like this. Sure thing. Your soul starts off weak, but it can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? <laughs> don't worry. I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. Yep. Nope. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Hey, buddy. You missed them. Let's try again, okay? Is this a joke? You brain dead? Run into the bullet. Friendliness, pellets. You know what's going on here, don't you? You just wanted to see me suffer. No, oh, I can't even move. Die. Well, get on with... Oh, I have to press X to confirm. What if I don't? What if I keep this stalemate going forever, Flowey? What do you think of that? Oh, my hand slipped. Oh! What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. A poor, innocent, uh, youth with no, you know, no defined gender. Oh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. 
Mm, sure thing. What's this? There's a ninja star lying on the ground. The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Uh, yeah, sure thing. Uh, welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Everything's still fully functioning, which is what makes it ruins. That's what ruins means. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. Uh, fusion is just a cheap way to make diversions and door keys stronger. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Yeah, sure thing. <laughs> right, but of course, didn't even get an opportunity to solve that puzzle. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press Z to read signs. I, I knew that already. Clearly. Read them from the back, why not? Stay on the path. Oh, it's like that other game. The first switch is over on the wall. Yeah. Um, oh, please press this switch. Tutorial. Go on, press the switch on the left. Mm, secret door? No. Uh, what about this one? <laughs> That's the other one. Okay, well, what if... All right, well, I don't know. Persistence may allow me to push the switch, but whatever. Let's just get on with it. Because a lot of people have already seen this section of the game because it is identical to the demo. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. When you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Solve for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Encounter the dummy. Let's see. Oh. No, oh, okay. I only had one chance. I thought it was going to bounce back and forth. Eh, pretty good. Pretty solid. <laughs> the dummies are not for fighting. They're for talking. Did you see how that one disintegrated when you hit it? Yeah, no, we do, though. <clears throat> I already feel bad about it. This is not the way I normally approach games. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Gee, Toriel, I was right behind you. Can you not protect me from this sort of thing? Ah, oh, my love increased. There's some twitchy letters. Oh, what's this? The Western Room is the Eastern Room's blueprint. Sure thing. It's the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. Okay. I've lost control. Yep. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. It won't even let me walk over the ones that uh, don't constitute part of the path. There was no danger to begin with. You've done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Yeah, see, yeah, this, uh, the violent approach, especially when it's not called for, is, is not how I usually approach games. Like, uh, really ever since, uh, probably Metal Gear Solid 2, I was really, that, that was one of the first games I played that really had a, a non-violent, or at least non-lethal option that was available, and, uh, I tend to go with it. So, what's this? Ah, I, yeah, I remember this part. She's hiding. Nah, she won't say nothing. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. 
I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. I know. Clearly, I knew. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I'll give you a cell phone. <laughs> if you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, all right? So, let's see. Let's take a look at that cell phone. That's part of my menu. Well, I already have a stick, and I'm wearing a bandage. Hmm. Okay, got a few options here. Uh, this is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then. Hello. Okay. So, you want to know more about me? Well, I'm afraid there's not much to say. I'm just a silly little lady who worries too much. You're, you're quite tall, actually. There we go. This is Toriel. Huh? Did you just call me Mom? Well, I suppose. Did that make you happy? To call me Mother? And... Let's make this weird. Oh, heh heh. Ha ha. How adorable. Oh, hello? This is Toriel. You've not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, all right? Okay, well, let's. this is a save point, yes? Playfully clink, crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. That's, that's what crinkling through leaves usually does. If you're ever, like, feeling nervous for a job interview or something, just, like, fill your pants with leaves. Crinkle through them all day. Ow. Ow. What? I'm intimidated? Heck no. Hmm. Well, let's just go on through there. Ah. Oh. Okay, so I can just pass through it that way. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Um, cinnamon. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Let's see, is there an actual space I can walk through on that floor that won't make me fall? Maybe. I'll give it a try. Now, what's this? It says, take one. Take a piece of candy? Yes. Monster candy. All right, well, hmm. Well, I took one, and the sign still says take one, so I guess I should. I mean, the sign obligates me to. Okay, yeah, the sign still says take one. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm just doing what the sign says. All right, let's make absolutely sure that our can candy sins can never be reversed. <clears throat> Ooh, that was close. Okay, I really need to uh, start reading those post-battle post comments. Ooh, Frogget's trying to run away. Well. Too bad. Hmm, okay, so the top road. Uh, I don't think I'll pass this way again, so we'll never find out if going on the very bottom would have changed anything. Oh, this Toriel again. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient. Hmm. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Sure. Ah. 
Hmm, keep jumping the gun. Gotta break that habit. Oh! Target doesn't seem to know why it's here. Well, okay, and I jumped the gun once again. Absurd. I don't know, I'm used to uh, just, you know, clicking through battles all the time. Hmm. Oh. A path. Please don't step on the leaves. Okay, so... Two... Okay. You know, if you guys don't want to get wrecked, you could stop antagonizing me. Ah. Oop. Ugh. At least I have a little, little short span of invincibility after getting hit. Nothing but froggets so far. Anyway, I kind of got the idea for uh, doing the violent playthrough from uh, watching watching Let's Plays of that game Until Dawn. Is if you know that game, it's uh, it's on the PS4, I think PS4 exclusively, I think. Oh, and it's uh, sort of a, a sort of an interactive horror movie. And in sort of the uh, Walking Dead Telltale uh, style, there's a lot of decisions to make that uh, affect the way things play out. And I did notice that uh, a lot of Let's Players were making the same decision. Like, okay, there's this scene where uh, you're, you know, be, you're in a uh, tense situation. I'm trying not to spoil anything. And... <clears throat> You are, like, there's one decision you can make that's kind of, like, good and self-sacrificing, and there's another decision that's kind of, you know, bad and other person sacrificing. And then there's the, a clever third option where you reject the, the binary choice and you do your own thing. And I think every Let's Player that I've watched has, like, gone with the, the clever third choice. And the thing is, like, that's great. Like, it's great that everybody's so clever and, you know, we, we all reject the idea that we should, you know, be committing violence on, on other people's terms. But it leads to some pretty homogenous Let's Plays, you know? Whoa there, partner. You said you could push me around. Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty, how's this? Oh, that is, that is entirely wrong. That was the wrong direction. Okay, I think I got it. Yes, that's it exactly. Okay. Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Yeah, I mean, for a rock, this constitutes a, a pretty solid workout. Thanks. They are. Things are easier when you just ask. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese. Fills you with determination. Sure, sure thing. So the mouse reacts. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Hmm. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. I mean, eh, yeah, fine. Oh boy. Absolutely. Here comes Napsta Bluke. Just plugging along. Oh. Thanks. Nips of Luke is wishing they weren't here. Well, you could leave. They're really not feeling up here right now. Sorry. 
Doesn't even hurt me. It's pretending to sleep, huh? I won't save you. The only thing that would have saved you is not getting in my way. And is that enough? Um, you do know you can't kill ghosts, right? Sort incorporeal and all. I was just lowering my HP because I didn't want to be rude. Sorry. I just made this more awkward. Pretend you beat me. Ooh. I lost one experience point. It was humiliating. What's this? Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Eighteen. The spiders crawled down and gave you a jug. What? Spider cider. Oh, uh, info. Spider cider heals twenty-four HP. Made with whole spiders, not just the juice. Oh, they're feeding me their own kin. I mean, like I'm a killer, clearly. But ooh, spider donut. Heals 12 HP. Don't me with the spider cider in the batter. Okay, so still, still made with actual spiders. Let's save the game. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale. I did not miss it. Come eat food made by spiders, for spiders, of spiders. Yeah, that, that confirms it. No ambiguity here. Ribbit, ribbit. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. Oh, I see. That's right. Pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. I sure do. Look, I'm a killer, but I'm not rude. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. What does F4 stand for? Four frogs. No, four, the, the, the numeral four does not stand for frogs. Or I guess, well, I've only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. I've heard you were quite merciful for a hu- Wh From whom? From whom did you hear this? Surely you know by- Monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. Oh, um, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill everything, but that's still good information. Sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day they'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Maybe. Hello? I just realized that it's been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You'll want to leave room in your pockets for that. It's just one switch. I see. Okay, let's fall down a hole. All right, that's where that switch is. Let's get at it. Oh, a different guy. Oh, please, um, please don't pick on me, I believe is what he says. And let's see, what are my options here? Look, I'm going to pick on him. You rude little snipe. Aha, oh. Really pissed him off. Okay, well, let's finish this. Quit staring, okay. Don't pick on him. Hmm. <laughs> I stared at him so hard I figured out what his HP was. Whoops. There we go. Oh right, I was gonna fall down a hole. <clears throat> hmm. It's a switch. Uh yeah, sure. Nothing happened. Far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. 
It's a switch. Uh, okay. Fine. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing like alone time. <laughs> he's just partying down there. He's never care in the world. Well, he's about to. Just, just be yourself. So he likes being alone. So getting him alone, I guess, is the way to uh, get rid of him without killing. Not relevant to our playthrough. So... a secret switch behind here because it rotated the room. Ah! Ooh! Fetch a toyed. Fresh morning taste. Uh, sure, yeah. Hmm, that seems like that hit pretty hard. Part of a complete breakfast. Vegetables? I mean, I don't know. It depends what vegetables, I guess. Yeah, this is an outrage. I'd actually want to uh, use some, maybe some candy? Let's see, what does that do? Mm. Non-licorice flavor. Eh, that's good. I'm not a huge fan of licorice. I'm one of those rare people who doesn't care for licorice all that much. Neat. And this last one, what, the yellow switch is hidden? Two switches are hidden? You can read this. Press the green switch. Oh, is that supposed to be green? It looked yellow to me. I'm profoundly colorblind, guys. Let's see. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. <laughs> How did you get here, my child? You hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Um, I'm going to see what was over here first. Ooh, a city. And a knife. I've become more dangerous than before. And so that just becomes... Okay. <laughs> Maybe I can sell that stick at some point. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. Hmm. How about that? <laughs> Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Do you smell that? Surprise! This is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. So snail pie, that's, uh, that's what they served you in uh, Illusion of Gaia, right? It was fine, as I recall. That was my character's subjective judgment of it. And this is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Yeah, just put your hand right on my head. That's cool. Something burning? Uh, make yourself at home. Hmm, it's a uh, sort of a washed-out pink. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. Oh, baby shoes never worn. How cheerful. Oh, night music. Okay, just... 
Oh, she just left it here. A slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Tenor interest in I mean, yeah, I don't care. I don't care about toys. I've put away childish things. You've seen this type of plant before, but do not know its name. Okay. What about this one? Know even less about that one. It's Toriel's diary. Sure. Yeah. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. That's filthy, Toriel. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. Definitely bigger than a twin-size bed. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. Gross. Scandalous. It's Toriel Sock Drawer. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most sundera of plants. Just a regular old bucket of snails. <clears throat> These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Sure. Some white fur stuck in three. Oh, gross. I don't. I don't get my hair stuck. Well, then again, I guess if you're like a, if you're covered in fur all over, like even just washing your hands is going to get hair in the drain. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Sure. Yeah. Ma I don't think we've really established that magic is real, have we? Oh, wait, uh, actually, no, she did use it on uh, Flowey, did she, didn't she? I mean, look, the humanoid monsters can be real without magic necessarily being real. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named... Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Oh, so they're not not useful as weapons, huh? Hmm, the fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. Oh, it's it's just it's just the spell warmth. That is a neat little trick. Up already, I see. Well, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising? Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? What? This... this is your home now. Uh, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. Let's go into, you know, pretty good detail about each use. It seems like a full-length book, you know, like... 300-ish pages, maybe. How about it? How to exit the ruins. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? Interesting. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is, but also this. I have to do something. Stay here. <laughs> Just power walk right on out of here. Seems like the right size for Toriel. Yeah, I mean, she was sitting in it. What's this? Room under renovations. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Hmm, I see. It's you. <laughs> it's me. Okay, so she went downstairs, I'm thinking. This is about where the uh, the uh, demo ended. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Hmm, no... 
Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Hm. You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you're strong enough to survive. And now our heartlessness faces its first true test. Let's fight! Goodness, fire magic. Oh, yikes. <clears throat> Whew, I don't think I stood much chance of avoiding that. I mean, it's probably possible. I, I'm just saying I personally didn't stand much of a chance. Yeah, after the next hit, maybe I should eat some candy or something. Oh, jeez. Okay, that went pretty well. And we got her down to uh, less than half health. Oh, yikes. Look through me all you want. What do you see, Toriel? There's a magical attack. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should have healed up. Oh, jeez. Oh, acting aloof, huh? Let's have some monster candy. Honestly, I think that one's harder than, like, the two-hand spell. Whoa! <sighs> you are stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. So, as with all things in this game, or at least all things in the demo, certainly, Asgore, do not let Asgore take your soul. Ooh. As with all things in this game, it is entirely possible to uh, beat this uh, fight without any sort of violence, but uh, it's not the path we're treading. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good. Won't you? My child. Mm. Well, that certainly was something. Yeah, let's continue. So, in the demo, there was just a little bit after this. In fact, the demo may have cut out and shown the final scene, like, right after that fight. I'm not sure if this hallway was in it. But, um, you know what? Uh, for that reason, I think I'm going to call the first video here, and uh, we'll pick it back up in the next one. All right, well, uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, uh, until next time, I, I didn't think of a way to finish that sentence. All right, see you next time.
Thank you.